first of all, it's important to establish that uh, emotional disorders are all rooted in shame. Now, we talk about them very thoroughly using much more thorough language often. You know, for example, when we talk about the two distorted core beliefs of uh, emotional disorder, it's uh, my feelings are irrelevant and shameful, devoid of worth, so am I. That is a very long-winded and very detailed and specific uh, way of simply describing shame. So, all emotional disorders rooted in shame. How is it related to anxiety and stress? Before we get into this discussion, it's interesting to note that anxiety can be there. You can be experiencing it and not even be able to detect it. It happens to me all the time. In fact, most of the time when I've experienced tremendous stress, and I'm not talking about being caught like in the World Trade Center or anything when it's about to fall down, you would notice that kind of stress. But social anxiety, um, let's say that you've got a big um, public presentation that you got to do in a couple weeks and you're trying to prepare for it, clearly you're going to be experiencing stress. In those sorts of situations, you will notice that you will have moments where you're sitting around taking a break from all that and you think I'm not stressed out I'm not feeling any anxiety I feel as calm as can be and that's the interesting thing about it is that it can still be there even when you don't realize that you're experiencing it and it's been in moments like that that after let's say I get past the presentation or after I get past the job interview or after I get past whatever you know is causing me anxiety then I really experience calmness the the anxiety really does alleviate and go away that's when I look back and realize wow I thought I wasn't anxious I thought I wasn't stressed out but I was experiencing some high levels of stress you know um, your skin doesn't lie does it how many times have you thought I'm not stressed out at all but then you start getting these breakouts you know you start getting these pimples and stuff on your skin and uh, then you get past the thing then you feel truly calm and you know you truly feel the absence of anxiety and stress and then your skin starts to clear up surely that's happened to you before so that's the interesting thing about anxiety and stress it can be there you can be experiencing it and not even be able to detect it happens to me all the time and even if you suspect that you're experiencing high stress and high anxiety in many cases I'd say even in most cases you can convince yourself that you're not Uh, like I said most times um, when I when I do when I do an analysis of myself just you know a check-in with myself I say, well, I I feel pretty good. I'm not feeling too much stress. Then I I do the job interview, I do the thing, and then afterwards I realize, ah, boy, I was. All that time I was experiencing stress. 